Hello everyone, Dan here from Sherpy T. This past weekend went on a quick little adventure to northern Wisconsin. The goal was is to get some folks to an island where normally you cannot go at this time of the year because the ice is barely thin. We thought we'd be able to ride right up on top of that ice, but unfortunately the warm weather did not allow us to stay on top. You'll see more about that as we proceed along. Julie was with me as usual, along with Rand, his son Isaac, Patrick, and wonder dog named Coda. Coda was more along for the ride than do anything else, just having some fun. I bet you we go through it. And Rand was correct. We had a couple of 50 degree days and the ice was somewhat honeycombed. It was not uni honeycombed uniformly throughout all of the ice. It was just in certain spots. So some of the ice was like three, four, six inches thick, but we were still <laughs> breaking through um, because of that honeycombing yeah. ice that was kind of scattered throughout everything. Thank you. Here I just dropped the boys off and they were getting uh, some video of me just leaving here. Um, again, they got dropped off to do some muzzleloader hunting. Unfortunately, we did not see anything, but we did have a good time. One of the things you need to consider when driving the Sherp is, is if you do break through the ice, are you putting anybody else at risk? And I keep that definitely in the back of my mind. I actually even have markers inside of the Sherp that I will actually mark an area for there's a risky area where I think I'm concerned about somebody actually going through. Um, this particular area that I am in right now, I am not concerned about that. It, again, it got very warm. It was going to get warm again. The ice is going to continue to melt and freeze. There's not going to be any issue in this area, and you could not have walked on this ice at all uh, as a human. It, it just wouldn't happen. So all should be good from that standpoint. So found a little back little slough in the woods there and uh, just had a little bit of fun with it. Uh, the water is actually deep enough where the Sherp will float in a lot of different places and you're going to be able to see that as I'm going through this. But what kind of vehicle can do something like that? There, it, it just, nothing else exists. Unbelievable. So we had a great weekend overall, but not really what we were hoping for. I wish that the ice would have been thicker and we would have been able to stay up on top and we would have actually been able to go to a lot of the other areas that we wanted to go, but it was smo very slow sailing, difficult to kind of maneuver. Uh, we did have some fun here. This, this was a good, a neat little place to be able to see the Sherp, especially for your first time. Um, the guys really got a kick out of it.
Although we didn't get to do exactly what we were hoping for, we did have a really good time. And this particular area here was, uh, it was fun. A little bit of deep water, a little bit of shallow water. Exactly what we were looking for. Very happy that Isaac and Patrick were able to go for the first time ride on the Sherp. Rand's been in it a number of times, so it's kind of an old hat. Coming up to the end of this video, appreciate you watching. Appreciate it more if you subscribe to the channel. Likes and comments are greatly appreciated. We were blessed with some snow in the following day. We did make it home safe, so all is well. Take care.